friends and welcome back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Callie Bransfort and something that I love is when I find little tricks or hacks that help to make my life or my home more organized. And today I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite everyday organizational hacks. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna start our organizing tricks in the kitchen. And personally, I feel like one of the biggest culprits of a messy looking kitchen is having stuff out on the counter. So something I try to do at least once every single day is do a quick sweep of my kitchen and pick up literally every single unnecessary item that is on the counters that does not need to be there. Now listen, this does not happen every single day, okay? I'm not superwoman. I'm the mom of a one-year-old. I'm also pregnant, so it's just something I aim for. You know what they say is like, shoot for the stars and you'll end up like in the, near the moon, or like in the Milky Way, how does it go? Shoot for the stars and you, I don't know, I've totally lost my train of thought, but I'm pretty sure my point was, when you have clean counter spaces, it definitely makes the kitchen look a lot more organized and clean. And so I have a few things I like to do that help keep my counter spaces clutter free. Recently I got this set of stacking baskets from Amazon and I'm so pleased with them. They keep all of my veggies and fruits organized and they fit perfectly under my counters and I love how they stack so you can really set them up how you want. And it just helps to keep the counter space clear and more organized. These would also work amazing if you have a pantry but alas I do not have a pantry. I've actually never had a pantry in my entire life. It sounds like a beautiful thing. Someday, maybe guys, I will have a pantry. Again, like I said, shooting for the Milky Way or the stars or whatever. Okay, for real though, it could be the pregnancy talking, but like all this talk of Milky Way is like all I want to do is eat a Milky Way. And I don't even remember what's in them, but I think I need one. Okay, moving on, another thing that our kitchen counters always seem to accumulate is just like paper. Just like coupons and receipts and pieces of mail and whatever. And so, so one trick that I use is I attach command strips to clothespins and then I just stick these on the inside of cabinet doors. This way I have a really quick place to clip all my little odds and ends of paperwork. Literally just super simple, costs less than a dollar and it's a quick grasp for me to clip any paperwork that I might have laying around in the kitchen up and out of the way. On the topic of paper, let's talk about about the inside of our purse and or diaper bag if you're like me and you're using your diaper bag as your purse whatever it is that you're carrying around always seems to be the catch-all for like all sorts of stuff so I'm going to share with you two little hacks to help keep your bag more organized and clean and the first thing we need to tackle is receipts because they always end up just like at the bottom of our bag cluttering up our space so first of all if you need it to save it for tax purposes get in the habit of putting it away immediately upon coming home so i have these little clips that i just showed you clip all my receipts right to here it's an easy place to access right when i walk in the door and then i know i always have them any receipts that you don't need to save for tax purposes you just want to make their way directly into the trash can but really quick on your way to the trash can if you are throwing away grocery receipts you need to make sure you're scanning them into fetch rewards first fetch rewards is an app that i have talked to you guys about before what it does is it partners with a ton of brands and it gives you points so it only takes about 10 seconds what you do is you scan your receipt it redeems points for the you and then you can spend your points on gift cards to like anywhere that you shop walmart target amazon best buy i've actually gotten to the habit of scanning my receipts the second i get in my car from the grocery store so i don't miss any of my points and then I chuck the receipt right away when I get home so it's not cluttering out my bag. And like I've mentioned, I've talked to you guys about Fetch Rewards in the past. I've worked with them in the past. So I'm excited to partner with them again for today's video because that means I have a fun little offer for you guys. I have a promo code for you guys and that's going to give you your first 2,000 points for free. All you have to do is use this promo code when you sign up and then when you scan your first receipt, then you'll redeem your first 2,000 points just for watching this video. The second trick I love to use for organizing my bag is use the bag inside of a bag trick. It's sort of like, sort of like the bag matrix, like bag inception. And I use them to organize like items that go into bags or purses. This not only makes it really easy to find what I need, but it also makes packing to leave the house a breeze because I can have all the clear bags out and I, depending on what I'm doing that day, I can grab just the ones that I need and fill my bag. Okay, this next one is going to help with something that I have a personal like love-hate relationship with and that's wires. Like I love wires because they plug in things that I need to use, but also like I just don't understand how it's 2020 and there's still so many wires. Like we've made so many advances, why so many wires still why? Whatever, I get that they're totally necessary to power like all of my appliances, but I hate seeing them around my house. And so one little trick that I recently adopted is using these command hook 
cord bundlers. This literally can attach to anything and it helps you to bundle cords out of the way, which is so genius. I'm a command hook lover. Like you've probably seen command hooks in pretty much every video I've ever made. And I did never knew that this product existed. It is so, so smart. So obviously these cord bundlers are great for places like entertainment centers and offices where we have like extra cords hanging around to bundle them up and out of the way. But a little trick that I recently discovered that is such a brilliant use for them is to actually stick them onto your kitchen appliances. And then you can bundle the cords when you're not using them to avoid them from getting all messed up and tangled up in your kitchen cabinets. It is so, so genius. I've been looking for a solution for the boxes that like tin foil and parchment paper come in for like, I feel like my entire life. I, I'm like, I'm pretty sure four year old Callie was like, why do these boxes suck? And they always break down. I feel like you're always digging through the drawer looking for the one that you want. The boxes always fall apart and like the parchment paper is coming out. It's just always been an issue. So I found this little trick that it's actually really great. What you're gonna need is just two command hooks and a couple wooden dowels. You're gonna clip the command hooks on the inside of a cabinet or a pantry wall or really wherever you want to use them and then you're going to slide the wooden dowels through the tubes you can even poke holes on either side of the boxes if it's um, a box that you need to keep because it has a serrated cutting edge or you can just pop the entire tube out if you want and put it on the dowel and then just hang it right onto the command hook and this is so much easier in my opinion than digging through the drawers to find the one that you need it's literally everything you need is just hanging there you can literally just grab and go All right, while we're talking about command hooks and how much I love command hooks, let's talk about another little trick you can use. And this is great for places like bathrooms or even kitchens where you need a little bit of extra storage space. You're just gonna use some small wire baskets. You can get these at the Dollar Tree and then the small metal command hooks. Apply one command hook, then attach your basket to see where to place the second hook. And then use a level if you wanna ensure it's straight and then that's it, attach the second hook and you can hang your little middle rack anywhere. This is great on the side of a bathroom vanity to put in like your hot tools, your blow dryer. Um, also really great in the kitchen for like spices or cooking equipment. I just like that this adds just a little bit of storage at a quick grab in really convenient places. Another option for often unused space is to use these thin rollaway carts. I recently shared these in a small bathroom organization video. These fit perfectly into small spaces and easily pull in and out by the wheels. They're super great for small bathrooms, but also really great for tight spaces in kitchens. Like if you have any unused spaces between appliances, we have a gap between our oven and our fridge, and this works perfectly to store all of our spices and oils. All right, moving on, I want to share these nifty little clips that you can use. They can pretty much stick anywhere and they're going to hold your broom, your duster, your Swiffer, your dustpan, anything. Personally, I whip out my broom at least once a day. So I like to have it somewhere really quick and easy to grab and using these little clips just like right on, right on the inside of the door where I keep my cleaning supplies makes it so much easier to just really grab it and then pop it back super fast. It would work really great in any closet, pantry, or even a garage. My next trick is how to make your own little DIY mudroom or entryway closet if you don't already have one in your house. So if you don't have an entryway closet, you can use a cabinet. I have this cabinet that's by our entryway and I just move the shelves all the way to the top that make the bottom section super big. Then with just some command hooks, I'm making spots for hanging all of my son's jackets and his outdoor gear. And now even though I don't have an actual entryway closet or even a mudroom for storing jackets and shoes, I just created a one out of this little Ikea cabinet that came with our house for all of his outdoor stuff doesn't end up strewn all over my floor it's up and out of the way and it's just a really easy little trick if you don't have a mudroom of your own okay this next trick is if you have any spots that have limited counter space such as a bathroom and you don't want to give up that precious real estate to store things i really love these above the counter containers they are the perfect size and shape to hold all, all sorts of things that you would usually put down on the counter but now you can use that to free up some valuable counter space you can use these in bathrooms another place that it would work really great is actually in the living room you could put one up as a magazine caddy or as a remote caddy so you always know where your remotes are They're just like smart little containers that you can find so many different uses for. Okay, this next one is a little trick that I've shared in the past for if you have open shelving. Open shelving is beautiful, but sometimes you need to store something on a shelf that isn't beautiful 
and you don't want it sitting on an open shelf where everyone can see it. And so this little trick helps to hide that. So for example, in our bathroom, I have two plastic bins that I keep like our medicine in. And just a little home decor inception here is I place a frame in front of the two bins. So the open shelves still look pretty, but in reality, it's actually just storage for a bunch of medicine. Okay, my next organizing solution is on the never ending quest to make the most use of any unused space in my house is to make sure that you are taking advantage of any space underneath beds, or in my case, I'm making use of space underneath my toddler's crib. Honestly, this is just like space that's totally unused. Usually, usually just collects dust in like dog toys or children's toys or socks, and now you can use it to store things and stay a little bit more organized. I love these under the bed storage bins because they're literally designed to fit directly underneath a bed. But even if you don't get the special under the bed storage bins, you can literally just use like different boxes or bins or whatever you have that fits under there. It's just a really great place to utilize for some extra storage. My last tip is something that I talk about all the time, but I swear to God, it has helped me so much with organization and that is to just like label everything. Get yourself a label maker and just like go crazy labeling stuff. Like label stuff that you wouldn't even think about labeling because it helps. I learned that there's no such thing as over labeling when I decided one day to label the inside of my fridge, which seems a little bit ridiculous, but I have to be honest, it keeps my fridge so much more organized because in my mind mentally I can say, okay, this shelf is for dairy, but after like a week or two, I kind of forget and stuff gets mixed up. And then my husband puts something somewhere else but when it literally says dairy, you just put all the dairy back there. And then when you're looking for something that's dairy, you know exactly where it is. It's honestly one of the smartest organizational things that I ever did. And I found that labeling all sorts of stuff, even if it seems like a silly thing to label, has actually helped to keep my house so much more organized. All right guys, that does it for these everyday organization hacks. I hope that some of these help you. A lot of these have really helped me just make my like everyday life a little bit easier, a little bit more organized. If this is your first time landing on my channel, again, welcome. I hope that you will consider hitting subscribe. I post the new video every Sunday and two bonus Thursday videos every single month. I will also link a video right here that you might also enjoy watching. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.